Amazon and Twitter join hands, new Geek BTs, and a toy for pyromaniacs. I'm John P. This is Geek Beat. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by QNAP. Network storage made awesome. Well, as Callie told you guys yesterday, Amazon announced a cool new Twitter integration feature. If you see a link to an Amazon product you want to check out later, you can just reply using the hashtag pound Amazon cart. And assuming you've previously gone in and linked your account to your Twitter, it will indeed add the item to your Amazon cart. I tried it. It worked. Isn't it funny that even our shopping can be a social experience nowadays? If you didn't know it, Amazon has settings connect to your Twitter and your Facebook accounts. I'll give you the link in the show notes so you can pop in there and just take care of that. And in celebration of your ability to go crazy with the Twitters, I'm going to tweet three products for you to practice adding to your Amazon cart. So find me at John Pose for your practice items. And now it's time for another Kleenex break. <sighs> These Kleenex missions have got to stop in the middle of the show. First up, the Man Groomer Ultimate Back Shaver. Nice! Do you look like Sasquatch? Could the hair on your back provide enough material for an Amish person to weave a wool sweater? Well, summer's coming up and no one wants to see that. So get a man groomer for just $49.99 and you can take care of that problem yourself without having to ask your partner to do it or having to go to a salon to get them to rip it off you 40-year-old virgin style. Okay. You ready? Yep. Itch. Me. Come on, say No! Next, for less than 40 bucks, you can add this very cool power center to your desk and gain six 110 volt outlets plus four charging USB ports and have a built in cable management channel. The Wire Mold PX1004 power strip will connect to just about any desk and give you the convenient power without having to fumble around under the desk. Finally, when you have people come over for dinner for a nice meal, don't give them one of those crappy Walmart serrated knives to cut their food. <laughs> Get you a set of six Victorinox straight edge knives for $129 that'll slice through steak like butter. I've got a dozen of these and I love them, and you can just search the Geek Beat blog for my knife sharpening tips to keep them shaving sharp at all times. Once over lightly, yes, sir. <laughs> all the links are also at geekbeat.tv forward slash 840 in case you don't want the public humiliation of tweeting the man groomer with the pound Amazon cart hashtag. I mean, still order one, just do it in private because no one wants to see that rug on your back. Seriously. Expecto Patronum! You know what people do want to see? Movies, yeah. Dave. Woo! And they want to listen to an entire music library and view their photo albums. And the easiest way to distribute all that content around your house is to get a QNAP and put everything safely and securely on your network. Yeah. If you head over to geekbee.tv forward slash QNAP tutorials, we've got guides for you on how to organize your photo collection, how to set up Plex, how to use a QNAP for time machine backups, and many more. And if you want a big, quiet QNAP that'll integrate beautifully with your home entertainment center, check out the fanless HS210. I don't mean it doesn't have any fans. Like, I'm a fan of the HS210. It just doesn't have any, you know, little fans. Like, whoosh, whoosh. yeah, not that kind. You can also pick one of those up on Amazon. Hashtag Amazon cart. Speaking of something else you're going to want to pick up, we've got a new Geek Beat team member. Not, you know, not going to pick him up. But Jason Karn is a freelance designer who's working with us on creating several new Geek Beat t-shirt designs. Of course, we'll always have the standard Geek Beat logo design like the one I have on, but a lot of you have been telling me you'd like a variety of colors, not just white, and different styles. So, 
I'm gonna give you a sneak peek at two of the new designs. We're gonna have several different styles, but Jason and I talked about having what we're calling the vintage Geek Beat line, and that's what we started off working on. So for this first one, we asked Jason to give us something that kind of reminded us of the Old West. Like, this is what Geek Beat would look like in the 1800s. Awesome, right? The best part may just be the little Dexter Bandit in the middle. Sweet. For the next design, we asked Jason to give us some kind of cool university-like logo. And then we asked him if he could make it fancy on top of that. We'll check this out. Callie nearly passed out when she saw it, and I should point out that Jason did both of these designs entirely by hand. And we're gonna Skype him in on the show to chat about how he created the designs pretty soon, so keep an eye out for that on social media coming from Callie and I and Geek Beat in the next few days. Now, you can't order these shirts just yet, but all of our $25 and up patrons will be getting them by default, and after we get a couple of samples printed and we can make sure they're looking good, we'll open up the orders for a short time for everybody else, so stay tuned. Last but certainly not least, for the pyromaniac in all of us, the Bison Company has just announced a new air lighter. Do you enjoy campfires? Lighting your fart? <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> Do you enjoy campfires? Charcoal barbecues? Or even just a nice log fire in one of your many, many vacation homes? Well, the Bison Air Lighter is a portable air-driven fire stick that jets a four-inch flame and then, after you got a little fire going, delivers airflow to quickly spread it. I haven't tried one yet, but it certainly sounds like fun. They said they're sending one in, so you can bet as soon as it arrives, we're gonna light something on fire around here. Possibly the nearest intern. Hey, we can always get another. That's it for today's show. You guys get to tweeting your hashtag Amazon carts. And if you have anything else to share, hit me up at John Pose. Thanks for watching. See you next time.